Hello guys, Crispy here, welcome back to another video. In this one, my friends, I'm going to be testing a GeForce GTX 1050 Ti in Baldur's Gate 3. This one is the Asus ROG Strix version of the card. We are running it with the latest NVIDIA drivers at the time of recording this video. And uh, maybe we should overclock it a little bit, you know. I'm just going to set 100 on the core clock and like 250 on the memory clock. Bump up that power limit just by a little bit. And that's our overclock done. <laughs> Over in Tech Power Ups GPU Z, you can see all of the GPU specs and here in CPU Z you can see that we're pairing it with i7 4770K overclocked to 4.5 gigahertz and lastly we're using 16 gigabytes of DDR3 2400 megahertz and this clock speed right here is completely false <laughs> okay it's at 4.5 gigahertz let's get into it shall we let's go over the settings first I'm playing at 1080p resolution using the low settings preset it actually auto detects to ultra <laughs> Which is very interesting on a 1050 Ti, you know, kind of weird. But let's try low first. We'll get to ultra in this video as well. I'm just gonna disable the anti-aliasing here, and this is it. The dynamic crowds are still enabled. Everything else is set to the minimum. And uh, let's resume the gameplay here. I'm not in like the most intensive area of the game. It's gonna take a while for me to get there actually. But we're already seeing the FPS dropping from 30. Look at that. 29, how does it default to ultra? It just... What the heck, dude? Okay, uh, th that's so weird. Oh my gosh. Tons of smoke effects right here. Somebody told me that there's a city, a burning city, later on into the game that's way more intensive. And a few other people told me that there's also a huge city later on. But again, I, I just, I gotta play through it. <laughs> and, uh, I haven't had the time. Uh, yeah, look at this. It's already so crappy, dude. Sometimes you can get 40 plus frames per second. Other times <laughs> you get 30-ish. And other times it actually drops from 30. I mean, it is still playable. We're below system requirements with the 1050 Ti, Something by the way. It asks for a GTX 970, which is much faster than the 1050 Ti. Some people are actually perplexed <laughs> when I test the 970 and they have like 1050 Ti's and they're like, whoa, what? How is this faster? <laughs> I don't understand. Well, it is. Okay, 970 was a higher end GPU from the previous generation. 1050 Ti is just entry level. Now, yes, it does drop from 30 FPS from time to time. We're also using the X11 in this one, by the way, because it works better here on the 1050 Ti. And it actually stutters less as well overall in most GPUs. But since this is just a point and click game, turn based combat as well, whenever you are uh, fighting enemies here, I think it's it's okay, the performance. It's not great by any means, but it's certainly playable-ish. <laughs> if you can live with these drops and these low FPS, it is going to be playable. Please, guys, do not die. You're 1 HP, both of you. I, I just had a little bit of a fight before I started recording, uh, and we're all down to 13 HP, 1 HP, and 1 HP. <laughs> so uh, we're basically screwed, maybe. <laughs> Another thing that I want to tell you, by the way, is that the i7 4770K is doing a pretty decent job. It doesn't bottleneck the 1050 Ti. It's capable of achieving 30 plus FPS in this game, which is nice. It's also a above the minimum requirement, so that's expected. It asks for uh, the i5-4690, I believe, and this one is that i5 overclocked to 4.5 gigahertz, but with hyper-threading enabled. So we got four cores and eight threads on the i7, and four cores and four threads on the i5. And given that the i7 is going up to like 90% usage at times, I think the i5 will be pegged at 100% all of the time. <laughs> <laughs> Underground passage. Okay, of course, FPS are much higher in these closed areas, by the way. So we're not testing the, the most intensive area in the entire game. Oh, come on, dude. Just revive the bastard. Come on. We need to go. We need to... Oh, God, he died. He actually died. What the hell is that? Guardian statue. Well, goodbye, Astarian. It was nice to meet you. Oh yes, the minimum requirements. I got the FX8350, which I will be testing in the channel as well, probably in a couple of weeks, so that should be fun. Stay tuned in for that. What is he even doing? Well, 
I don't hear any crying or any... What the hell? What the hell? Ignore her theatrics and grab her. Oh, it's a girl. Okay. Read her thoughts. Ooh. Yes. Let's try this out. Come on. 18. Oh, I'm so good. Lunge at her. Remorse or not, she tried to rob you. <laughs> yes. Let's go. I don't care. <laughs> Uh, 19. Oh, yes. I should stop using these things, right? I don't need them for a 10. Come on. Come on. Aha. Aha. You give it back. You probably robbed me already. She tried to rob me. I, I saw her. Yes, it's definitely her daughter, right? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Some effects. Nice. That's exactly what I wanted to see. What the heck? <laughs> Oh boy, okay, okay. You know what, that's enough for low settings. 43 FPS average means that it's a playable experience. 27 1% lows means that it could be way better, but it isn't. But I'm okay. Again, it's a point-and-click title. You move around by clicking things. The mouse is still at your monitor's refresh rate, so it doesn't really matter too much. And then you gotta choose things, roll dices and stuff, and uh, there's the turn-based combat that doesn't really require a ton of FPS. Now let's try FSR 1.0 on quality, and oh my god, on low settings it looks really bad actually. Oh yeah, just remember that uh, looking at things from really close drops FPS by a bit. Doesn't seem to be dropping too much right now, so let's start counting the FPS. This might be the way to play this game if you want uh, 30 plus FPS all of the time. Oh, a snack! Hello, snack! How are you going? What is happening? Please. Oh boy! The low textures look this really crappy, dude. <laughs> like, look at that. It's only using 2.5 gigs of VRAM, so we may be able to increase them without any stuttering. Uh, oh, so many options, dude. <laughs> There's so much replayability in this game. I'm gonna go for the intimidation one this time. 15! Ooh! Okay, uh, we got a bonus of four. Come on. Oh, seriously? <laughs> no! We can't intimidate anyone. Oh, we can roll again? I'm gonna roll again. It's two dice. Okay. <laughs> yes, we did it. <laughs> Good stuff. Right, okay, okay. Let's intimidate the bastards. We're fear fearful. Very well. Tina, this never happened. <laughs> I can never intimidate anyone in real life, guys. <laughs> oh, more fur. Oh my god, look at that. Look at that. That looks so terrible with FSR enabled. Oh my god. Look at that CPU usage here. 91%. I believe in the city we would probably get CPU bound with the i7. Maybe drop into like the 40s, 50s. Uh, on the CPU side of things, not sure if the GPU can actually handle the city at 50s, you know, but whatever. Snatch the loot out of her hands and smash it. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Come on! Oh, that's so rude. Holy crap, we made it. It's gonna work. 69 FPS average, look at that, perfect. 12, come on, let's go, continue. <laughs> that's so bad, dude. That's so bad. <laughs> Do? Oh. My teacher gave me that, and she's, she's dead, you bastard! No, you, you cannot do call me a bastard. You, okay. You ruined it. <laughs> you ruined everything. Dude, that's terrible. <laughs> you know, this is not my actual playthrough. I'm going to play this through on, on the Steam Deck or Rogue Ally. I already received it, finally. Um... So, I, I don't really care about this game. I'm just going to progress until a place where I feel like it's good for benchmarking and test a bunch of GPUs there and then play the game myself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it is 40 something frames per second here. I actually thought this was going to be a little bit less intensive than what we've seen so far. Like, we've been getting 60s and 50s most of the time. This is 40s. You know what I'm gonna do before we go to the other area where it dropped from 30 FPS at the native resolution? I want to try it with like high textures. Let's see how much VRAM it utilizes. It shouldn't mess with our FPS, okay? The FPS should stay exactly the same with low or high textures if you have enough VRAM to run high textures. And apparently we do. It's not really touching even like 3.5 gigs, so that's all right. 
Okay, around here it's dropping into the 40s. Remember that we're not really using the native resolution. This is FSR 1.0 on ultra quality. Uh, and here it used to drop into like 20s, 29, 28, I think. And now it's only dropping into the higher 30s, maybe low 30s at times. But most of the time it's going to be okay. That's pretty good to see. And now everything looks way better because of the, those textures, you know. I think there's somebody hiding inside of this. Touch the sigil, yes. Come on. Uh, strength. You have uh, then pull. Yes. Come on, come on. We can do this. It's only a seven. Come on. Seventeen. Beautiful. It's gonna be two of us again. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm just wrecking my entire game in this playthrough with the 1050 Ti. <laughs> Oh, that's terrible. Come on. There we go. It also dropped a lot to the 6700 XT with the purple effect, I think. Or maybe it was one of the camera angles looking at this guy. This is a pretty intensive area, probably the most intensive one in our benchmark run over here in this part of the game. So I am going to stop counting the FPS. It's going to go here to 37 frames per second, and we're going to set it to the recommended settings for the GTX 1050 Ti, which are ultra settings. Out of detect, again, it set it to ultra. So <laughs> let's try this out. <laughs> this is so stupid, dude. How is this defaulting to ultra with a card like this? And with FSR off as well. All right, so the game apparently tells you that you should play at 20 FPS with the GTX 1050 Ti. Not even in the most intensive area in the entire game. But yeah, this is it. It looks way better for starters. All right, it, it definitely does look like a completely different game almost. <laughs> Previously, it looked like RuneScape. <laughs> it reminded me of that. Now it actually looks decent. I especially like the colors in this one. The textures are still not amazing, you know? There are some rocks, for example, that look very, very bad, honestly. But overall, if you're not licking walls and stuff, it, it has a charm to it, doesn't it? But it's, of course, completely unplayable at the ultra settings. I mean, it was dropping from 30 FPS, after all, on low. <laughs> So, do not use medium with this card, all right? Let's try... Uh, do not use ultra. <laughs> Let's try medium now. That's that's what I wanted to say. Start counting the FPS here. 30s, 20s. Yeah, of course, it's going to drop. CPU usage went up by a little bit as well, I believe. That's interesting. Some of the settings seem to be G uh, CPU intensive as well. All right. Just take a little stroll around here again. 30-something frames per second. Again, it looks way better than it did on low. FSR1 set to ultra quality on the medium settings. Ooh, it makes a big difference. Look at that. 40s. That's all right. Let's go back to the other little place where it dropped the most. Okay, it's dropping to 31. That's not terrible. That's not to say that it won't drop in other places, but it's a little bit better than... 1080p native with uh, low settings or maybe it's about the same <laughs> damn why oh no 29 yeah okay so it's that there's quite a bit if i do this look at that frame time damn so if you have the 1050 ti i think you should stick to low settings let's turn off fsr Keep it at medium and try 720p. This could look slightly better than FSR 1, maybe. Probably not. <laughs> it depends on how this game works with anti-aliasings and stuff. But it looks super soft like this because of the TAA. It's getting 30-ish FPS. Probably still gonna drop into the very low 30s over here in this uh, part. 33, 34, it looks so soft, it's one of the softest. So I'm actually gonna use SMAA instead, and okay, it looks way better like this, thankfully. <laughs> All right. Oh, it's super shimmery, obviously, because it's 720p, but now on a smaller 1080p monitor, for example, like 21 inch monitor, 21 and a half, I think those are very common, it might look pretty decent. At least we found the way to play this game at 30 plus FPS uh, and native resolution. You gotta go down to 720p for that. It's not amazing, but it looks decent. I think I would actually prefer this to 1080p low. But if you want like 60 FPS, maybe low settings at 720p will do it with SMAA. 
It's a bit cleaner for sure. There's quite a bit less shimmering than there was before. And now we're getting, yeah, 30 still pretty similar results, honestly. I mean, it won't really drop into the low 30s, I guess, but it's not amazing either. I really want those 60s, so I'm going to try out FSR, ultra quality. This is the last setting that I'm going to take. Oh my god, it looks so bad. No, never do this. Never do this. Look at the vegetation right there. Damn, that's awful. That is completely awful, dude. So the bare minimum resolution to play with FSR in this game is 1080p. And with ultra quality FSR. Do not play with like quality or balanced because it will start looking like this. That, that's just terrible. <laughs> anyway, it gets 60 FPS at times though. So this is the way if you want those 60 FPS. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it was informative and helpful to you. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll be back. And I'll probably die in the next one. <laughs> uh, very soon. As always, love you all. Bye-bye.